this is Carol Haygood. I'm one of the members of Friends of Shades Creek, and I'm here to do some things that we're going to use to celebrate the Salamander Festival this year. Woo! Woo! <laughs> we're going to be doing some crafts, as we always do crafts at the Salamander Festival, but this time we're going to do them online, so it's a little bit different. I'm going to show you that one of the two things we're going to talk about today. The first one is this fish picture. You can probably hear the beautiful waterfall in the background. We're at the Birmingham Botanical Gardens outside the library in the little pool where the turtles live. So we're going to do water with that beautiful water sound and then we're going to be doing a turtle. So let's start off with our with our turtle with our fish picture right now. First of all, you'll need a piece of blue paper to be your water background. You'll need some brown stock that you can tear to represent the sand at the bottom of the water. You'll also need some dots, some color dots to make your fish. And then you'll probably want some googly eyes so your fish can see where they're going. And we'll also need some little sheet protectors like that paper protectors that we're going to use to make bubbles to show that the fish are bubbling up through the water. So let's get started and see what we can do. Here's our beautiful blue water. I showed you the beautiful blue water we're going to start with. I also then took a piece of brown construction paper and I tore it so it would have kind of a sandy look along the top. And I put glue on the back of it with my glue stick and now I'm going to place it down at the bottom of our picture. There we go. Of course, once I press it down, the glue will catch. And now we have water and some sand at the bottom. But who lives there? Somebody's got to live there. Let's find out who. These little dots that you can get at Walmart or at any stationery store can be our little fish. So I'm going to start putting some fish in this water. All different colors. All different types of fishes. Some are closer to each other because they're good pals, and others are further apart. And if you want to give these fish some little tails, you can do that. You can cut some little tails out of these sticky pieces and put them right down. And then you've got more of the fish. <laughs> so look, all these guys have already got their little tail but I'm going to give this fella his tail. Now everybody's got a fish tail. <laughs> Look at these happy little fish. Aren't they funny? Now it's time to give our fish some eyes so they can see where they're going. I went to Walmart and I got some little googly eyes. They're so funny. And I had to get little teeny tiny ones to go on our little teeny tiny fish. Does that look more like a fish now? I think it does. He'll come back in a minute. I'll have eyes on all the fish. Shall we do that? Now all the little fishes have little teeny tiny eyes so they can see where they're swimming around. And now I think I'm going to put some different kinds of fish in. These fish are going to be made out of buttons. Button fish. I'm going to put one down and then I'm going to let you come back in a minute when I get them all put down. Here's a button fish. Now I'm pushing down all the buttons to make sure they'll stay good and tight on the page. And I've added a tail to every little button fish. You want to see what they look like now? Oh, I didn't push enough on that one. Let me put him down a little better. There we go. Now can you see? Every little dot fish has a tail and every little button fish has got a tail. Okay, well now we've got water with wonderful little fish in it and we've got sand down below 
but what are those fish going to eat? We need some plants to put in that sand, don't you think? So, I've cut some tissue paper into long green strips, and now to make it look really more like plants in the water, I'm going to take one of the smooth ones that I just cut, and I'm going to twist, 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 twist it till it's all twisted up and it looks more like a piece of a reed or a piece of plant. What do you think? It's a plant. Okay, I told you I was going to take the smooth papers and twist them, twist them so they would look more like reeds in the river. And then, because they're so long, I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut them into little shorter pieces. And then I can take my glue stick and put on the bottom. And we will plant these plants right down in that pretty sand so these fish will have something tasty to eat. There we go. See the plants? And here's another one for another little fish. This little red fish is hungry. I'm going to put it real close to him. And maybe we'll plant a few more plants. I've planted lots of plants in our sand for our fish to nibble on. And here's the very last one I'm going to plant today. I'm going to put it right down here at the edge. And I'm going to hold it all up so you can see what's going on. These fish will not go hungry. Some of them are going to slide around, <laughs> but they're not going to be hungry. <laughs> what do you say? A garden for the fishes. One thing you may notice if you watch fishes swimming in the water is that when they breathe out, as they do, little bubbles come up sometimes. So I'm going to take these page protectors from Walmart and I'm going to let these fish kind of breathe out some little bubbles. And we'll put some around some of the fish. And then you can imagine that all of those fishes are just having a nice little swim and breathing out some pretty bubbles as they go. I'm going to put a couple more and then I'm going to hold up so you can see. Even the little tiny button fishes kind of bubble. There we go. Let's see what this looks like now. Here's our whole little gang of fishes having a nice swim and they're going to stop to have a nibble and then they're going to just rest a while and make some bubbles. <laughs> One last thing we might want to do to our picture is add some little extras down in the sand because, you know, the fish want to see what's going on down here. There might be some little seashells. There might be some little nibbly things. There might be some little creatures that they might want to nibble on. So I'm going to take some crayons and I'm going to make some little special wiggly snigglies out in the sand. Some could be seashells and you folks that can draw beautiful seashells can make a really special looking shell. But I've just showed you how you can take your crayon and make some extra decorations down in the sand. So here we are. We've got the sand and the sea and the plants and the fishes and maybe some seashells along too. So this finishes up our special picture and I hope you will enjoy making one too.